Hello, and welcome to Conquering Finale. My name is Jason Lafredo, and today we will begin speeding up speedy entry. Now, as you know, speedy entry is one of two main methods of entering notes into Finale, simple entry being the other one. And if you had watched my introduction to note entry, you may be aware that uh, speedy entry, just like simple entry, will be very keystroke reliant. So again, I just want to encourage you to go find the Finale quick reference card and download that and, and have a look at that, uh, particularly if you're new to Finale, it would really help. Um, in fact, I've embedded part of that card right into the file here. Uh, this is the, the number pad layout for the Mac and the Windows and some pitches for entry without MIDI, um, which I'll, I'll show you as we go into in this video, all right? So again, get that, that uh, card. It's very useful. Um, so let's talk about speedy entry. Now, the speedy entry tool is in the main tool palette. It looks like this little eighth note with the cartoon lines before it that makes it look like it's running really fast. That's the speedy entry tool. And when you click on it, you get this speedy entry frame that appears at the beginning. Incidentally, if you're elsewhere in the score, if I were to scroll over and hit the speedy entry tool, that, uh, that, that frame will always appear in the top left, um, most whatever the full bar is on the top left corner of where you are in the score. So that's just how that works, all right? but let's go back to the beginning. And you can also, if you're in the speedy entry tool and you don't have the speedy entry frame up, you can just click on a measure, any measure, and get there, okay? Um, now you'll notice in the speedy entry frame, there's a vertical line which will indicate where in the measure we are rhythmically, and there's a smaller horizontal line which will indicate where we are uh, uh, as far as pitch is concerned, um, what, staff, what uh, line or space we are on the staff, right? And it's easy to navigate around this frame, left, right and left. We'll move rhythmically up and down. We'll move um, up and down the, the staff, all right? Easy enough. And if we're at the end, option left will take us to the beginning. If we're at the beginning, option right will take us to the end or anywhere in the middle, etc. all right? And if we keep going right at the end, we will get to the next measure. Keep going right, we'll get to the next measure. Left, we'll keep going, get to the next measure. Or if we want, we can use shift right, which will advance us to the next measure automatically. Shift right, shift left, et cetera. And then finally, the return key will move the frame down a, s a staff. And if I had more staffs here, I can keep hitting return. It would go all the way to the bottom of the score. And shift return will get you up. So return and shift return to move that frame, all right? So let's start entering notes. Now there's two ways to enter notes with speedy entry and finale. The first is with a MIDI keyboard and the second is without a MIDI keyboard. Now in the speedy menu up here at the top, you'll notice the second option is, is called use MIDI device for input and currently it's checked. And basically when it's checked, it means that it's you can use your MIDI keyboard in my instance uh, for input. If it's unchecked, we can do input without the MIDI device. And there's some subtle variations of how it operates um, with and without a MIDI device, all right? I'm gonna show you both ways currently. So let's enter some notes in the third measure. The way to do this with a MIDI keyboard is on my MIDI keyboard, you play a note, hold it, and then choose a rhythmic value uh, from the number pad, and you'll see the chart right here indicating which uh, numbers are which rhythms. So in this case, I'll press five for a quarter note. You can press another note and choose another rhythm. Four for eighth note, six for half note. We can enter sixteenths with a three, right? If we want um, another half note, we'll press six, another quarter note, five, etc. We can do dotted rhythms as well. So if we hold down th the note and press five and press the period, we'll get a dot. Okay, we can even do double dots. Just hit two the period twice in a row and you get a double dot etc. Okay. Now, if we want a rest, all we need to do is uh, press the rhythmic value without a note uh, pressed down on the MIDI keyboard. So, right, if I have a note pressed down and press a rhythm, I'll get a note. If I don't have a note pressed down and I press a rhythm, I'll get a rest. So, it's easy as that, right? And it's really simple with a MIDI keyboard and speedy entry to enter chords because all you have to do on your MIDI keyboard, play a chord, and then a rhythm. Really easy to enter whole chords this way in Finale, all right? Um, so that's the essentials of entering notes, and there's a couple ways to alter notes when, when you're here. If we want to change the duration, let's, let's 
Uh, oh, I should, I guess, delete, right? That's an important thing to know, uh, but it seems pretty obvious, but I'll show you anyway. Just hover over the note that you want to delete and press delete. And incidentally, if you delete a note in the middle, it'll move everything to the left, as you can see how that works, right? Um, if you wanted to change a note to a rest, for example, um, so if you're thinking about deleting this D, but you want the rest, use the clear key, all right? And that will get you a rest instead of the note without moving the other notes, all right? And if you want to change a rest to a note, just move your cursor up and down to the pitch that you want and press enter um, on, on the uh, number pad, all right? Easy enough. And if we want to change the rhythmic value, so let's say these eighth notes here I meant to be quarter notes, so just hover over the eighth note and press the correct rhythm, so five and five, right? That, we, that will give you your quarter notes. All right. Uh, one other thing I should have mentioned, um, you've got these rhythms here in this little, in this little uh, graphic here, and it goes down to um, you know, 3 for 16th, 2 for 32nd, 1 for 64th, and 0 for 128th, except the 128th note, you need to use the option key to get that. So um, to get a 128th note, it's option, one, uh, option 0, option 0, option 0. If you just press zero without the option, that will exit you out of the uh, speedy entry frame. All right, so that's that's just how that works. Um, all right, and I'm gonna show you another way to enter notes with a MIDI keyboard, um, and that's to use the caps lock key. Now, if I'm in a uh, bar here, and I hold down, and I press caps lock, and I choose a rhythm, let's say eighth notes, You'll notice that a little uh, four appears at the bottom left corner here. And from here, what I can do is simply without using the number pad anymore, um, I can just play notes directly on my keyboard sequentially to get a string of eighth notes, all right? Uh, Finale calls this uh, step time input, um, basically uh, rhythm before pitch, whereas before it was pitch before rhythm, right? This is sort of a rhythm before pitch. And I still have the caps lock down. I still have four chosen for eighth notes. And you can cho uh, change midstream. So I can switch to five and start entering strings of quarter notes, three to enter strings of 16th notes, etc. And interestingly, if we enter some eighth notes here, to get a rest in this method, what you need to do is press three uh, consecutive half steps on your MIDI keyboard. Any three, it doesn't matter which three, but three consecutive step half steps will give you a uh, rest. If you press two, you're going to get two notes. If you press four consecutive half notes, you're going to get a note. All right, that's just how that works. Um, one other thing I wanted to show you, I'm gonna, I've got, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six eighth notes here, right? So I've got three beats entered. If I were to, for example, um, oops. Let's turn the caps lock off for a second. If I were to example, enter a half note here, it's gonna be too many beats. And you're gonna get this window up here and it's gonna tell you there are too many um, beats in this measure. And do you want to leave the measure alone, which would do just that. And we can just check that so you can see that. So now you have an inappropriate number of beats in this measure, if that's what you need to do, you can do that. Um, if I'm here and I try to exit, it will come up again. You can delete the extra notes, which will do just that. Let's undo, get back to here, exit the frame to get that window, move the extra notes to the next measure and keep moving the extra notes until all measures uh, contain the correct number of beats is essentially the same thing, but move the extra notes to the next measure. And now you'll get that, that note there. All right, it'll be nice and tied for you. And that's what that does. All right, so that, let me see, just checking my notes, I believe I covered everything, yeah. So that's note entry in speedy entry with a MIDI keyboard. So let's show you without a MIDI keyboard. So again, we're in the speedy tool, go to the speedy menu, uncheck use MIDI device for input, and now we can enter notes without a MIDI keyboard. Now this is where the crosshairs are, is, is gonna be a little bit more important and we're gonna wanna get to the right pitch, right? So again, just using the up and down arrows, we can get to the right pitch and then all you have to do is press the rhythm five for quarter note again, four for eighth notes, and I'm just navigating the pitches with the up and down arrows, all right? Um, fairly easy. To get a rest, 
um, the thing to do is control option shift and then press the rhythm that you want all right and then you can enter rest that way and then more notes if you want etc now with the caps lock down we will um, be able to employ this uh, this uh, chart on the right hand side which was which will allow us to get to some of these pitches more directly than just using the up and down arrows all right so I've got the caps locked down currently, and if I press the A key, it will jump down to middle C. If I press Q, it'll jump up to that C in the staff, right? Z will jump way down um, into the bass clef note, but it, you can still enter that in treble clef if you really want to. Um, all right, and so you can navigate pitches that way. You can still use the up and down arrows as you need to, and again, it's entering notes is the same way. Um, but now you can jump around a little bit quicker if you know what, what all of these uh, all these keys do. All right. And again, you can you can also use a combination of things if you want to use the arrows sometimes. Sometimes you want to use the letters. It's all fine. It'll all work. All right. And the same thing, Control Option Shift, and a rhythm will give you a rest. All right. And there's a couple other options here. There's eight B B is I, and the the comma is eight B A. So if I were to press the comma now, and then press Q, for example, which should get me this, the C within the staff, but now it's going to get me the C above the staff because I have the 8VA uh, check there. And then K will get it back to normal, so I'll press Q again to get me that C. And then I is 8VB. If I press Q, now I'm going down. See? That is how that works. Handy, handy. All right, so that is a uh, note entry without a MIDI keyboard. So there's actually sort of, you know, four different ways of entering notes in Finale. Um, with a MIDI keyboard, without caps lock, uh, with a MIDI keyboard, with caps lock, without a MIDI keyboard, without caps lock, and without a MIDI keyboard, with caps lock. I think I just got that right. Whew. All right, so four different ways. Uh, you can decide based on your setup whether you have a MIDI keyboard or not, or, or what makes sense for you logically. You can decide which of those methods works best for you in speedy entry. All right, so that's how you would do that. Now I'm going to show you a, a few other things that I think are going to be handy right off the bat for you as you're entering notes. And uh, let's start with ties, because that seems to be a, a fairly basic function you probably want to do. So I'm just going to go back and use my MIDI keyboard for a minute. Let's start with ties. So if I enter a half note here, and I want to tie it to an eighth note, the best way to do that is press the T to get a tie, and then enter an eighth note. The other way to do that, half note, the equal sign will also give you a tie. I believe that the equal sign is another uh, shortcut for this because it's very easily accessible from the number pad. Um, the T, the T is accessible next to the number row, <coughs> and the equals is accessible next to the number on top of the number pad. So that's probably why that exists um, as a double uh, keystroke combination for you. And of course, if you have something tied, I'll do that again for you. You can untie it just by hovering over the note and either pressing T will will toggle that tie on or off, and equals will do the same thing. And if you don't have something tied and you're hovering over the second note, by the way, option equals will tie it backwards. And again, option equal will untie it same way. And interestingly, option T will not do that. <laughs> so it only works with equals with the option tying things backwards. So there you go. Um, all right. Uh, how about tuplets? Fairly easy and speedy entry. The way to do this is with option and then the tuplet number that you desire. So let's say I'm going to put in triplets here. So I'll press option three. And in the top right corner of the speedy entry frame, you'll get this tiny little three appear, which indicates that you're entering triplets now. And whatever rhythmic value you enter next, that will be the definition of the tuplet. So if I want eighth notes, I just start entering eighth notes and I'll get an eighth note triplet, right? If I were to go back and start over, option three and if my first tuplet was a 16th note if my first note was a 16th note i would get 16th notes all right and incidentally this also works <coughs> with caps lock which can be handy so if you option three caps lock four now i can enter a string of triplets right in a row just like that 
Um, without the caps lock, when you when the triplet is done, then the, the the triplet definition turns off by default. All right, so that's how that works. Uh, so that's the basic uh, basic functionality of triplets. Um, there's a lot more complex things you can do with triplets, and I'll, I'll get into that in some of the later videos. But that's that's the basic uh, gist of it. Um, how about grace notes? That might be something you'd want, right? <coughs> so the way to do this is enter a note. Let's say you want an eighth note grace note. So enter your eighth note and then press the G key and it'll turn into a grace note. And again, it will toggle it on and off. And also the semicolon key will do the same exact thing. I think that the semicolon was the original keystroke for this. And at some point I'm sure Finale realized that G made more sense for grace note. So they added it without taking the old one away. So you got two options there, G or semicolon for a grace note. And of course, if you enter a grace note and then keep entering rhythms, you know, finale will calculate this correct. So you've got, you know, four quarter notes with a with a grace note before. So that makes sense, right? Now, in when you're using a MIDI keyboard, obviously it's easy to enter chromatics, right? You can just enter the press the uh, correct keys on the keyboard to get your notes. But when you're not using a MIDI keyboard, like the other method, which I'll set up now. Um, uncheck use MIDI device. When you're not using a MIDI keyboard, you're stuck with entering notes on the staff lines and spaces, right? So how would you enter a sh sharp in this case? Well, let's just put in some notes here. So how would you enter a G sharp, for example? Well, the thing to do is hover over the G sharp. There's a couple ways to do this. If you press the plus key, <coughs> it will uh, transpose that note up a half step or it will raise the accidental up a half step, I should say. Press it again, you'll get uh, raised again, again, and you can actually keep going as far as you need to. I guess, oh, I guess that's as far as you can go. What is that, seven sharps? And minus will go the other way until you get back to natural, and minus will give you a flat. And I guess you can keep going seven flats. There you go. Uh, the other way to do this simply is just with the S key will give you a sharp, F will give you a flat, N will get you back to natural, X will give you a double sharp, and V will give you a double flat. Again, so S, F, N, X, and V. And of course, plus and minus will do the same thing. Okay, one final thing I wanna show you in speedy entry before we wrap this up. I'm going to change all these notes to eighth notes for a second to illustrate this. Um, if you wanna insert notes between notes, there's two ways to do this. Uh, the first way is, is if you press Shift I, what you're doing is you're entering insert mode, and you'll notice that you get these little triangles at the top and bottom of your of your um, crosshair bar, and that will indicate that you are in insert mode. So now if you hover over any particular note, um, the next thing you enter, the, the note will appear before that um, that bar. So if I were to enter, uh, oh, I, right, I'm not using MIDI keyboard right now, so that's why that happened. Um, enter a C here. Right, so I'm in inserting notes um, before the insert bar. You can do the same thing with rest too. Right, that's uh, control option shift and then the rhythm. All right, the second way to do this, and incidentally, that insert bar, if you exit uh, speedy entry and re enter, that insert bar will still be active. So that insert mode will, will remain until you undo it. And again, shift I will undo it as well. The other way to do this is without even being in insert mode, you can do this temporarily of sorts just by pressing shift and then a rhythm, All right? And that will get you inserted notes. Oops, I did something different there. All right, so that's how that would work. It does get a little tricky when you are using a MIDI device. Let's say I were to enter two quarter notes there, and I want to enter something between uh, between these. It does get a little tr wonky because you have to hold down the notes, hold down shift with your right hand, and then hold down another rhythm. I mean, it's possible, but you do have to kind of spread your uh, spread your hand around a little bit on your computer keyboard, but it, it does work that way as well. And that is insert mode. And let me just double check my notes and make sure that I've covered everything I wanted to cover. I think that I have. Um, so that's the basics of entering notes in uh, speedy entry. 
Um, I, I, I flew through a lot of this, so hopefully you, uh, you caught on quick enough and uh, you can get, get yourself started with a lot of uh, note entry in Finale now. All right. So thanks for watching. Come back and we'll get a little bit more in depth with the speedy entry tool. There's a lot more that can be done with it and uh, there's a lot more to learn. So I encourage you to, to keep learning it. So thanks for watching and come back for another one.